Namaste. Well, the tongue, the mouth in general, can gain access to specific points in the body. And then by breathing through the practice of distinctive tongue exercises, yeah, we can yeah, alleviate, yeah, release and dissolve blockages clogging those specific points. All right. And I will relate this to the practice of uh, the breathing exercise called the shitkari or the hissing breath. Right. So, uh, this part of the mouth, yeah, on the upper quadrant, yeah, to the right side, when we allow the tongue to rub from the cheek and then up to the center, yeah, behind the, uh, the lip, mm, and then inhale through the process from this cheek and up, um, and that corresponds to space in front of the shoulders and in the chest. And then similarly, when we rub the tongue from the left cheek and then rub it upwards and then breathe through it, yeah, you can feel, yeah, like you can gain access. Yeah, actually, it starts from yeah, you know, the below the ribs and then up here to the collarbones, the chest, the collarbone through the neck, and up there. All right. So, like this um, circular pattern, from the center, yeah, sliding up and around, and right here. Good. And then, when you explore the bottom from the center here, below the bottom lip. And then from the cheek down to the bottom lip. And then that goes deep yeah, into the lower pockets of the abdomen and the hips. Yeah, same goes yeah, from the cheek downwards. And inhale. Yeah, you can in, in access here. All right, not only in the front, yeah, that also yeah, applicable to the back of the body. Yeah. So when you rub the tongue from the cheek and up and then down, yeah, you can also feel the space behind the shoulder blades, yeah, which connects to the upper back, the lungs, yeah, separate. Yeah. Like the body can form like this dome shape. Yeah, and then you can bring the breath yeah, to the spaces yeah, between yeah, the external structure of the upper back yeah, and the internal structure of your respiratory system. Like they separate, and you can bring the breath yeah, to fill in those gaps. Yeah. Similarly, yeah, from the cheek down to the lip, uh, it's right here. And that depends definitely on the action of the body. For example, you, know, you want to open this spot, yeah? So, lifting and then breathing. And as you exhale, just exhale. If you want to open the back, similarly, you can fold. You can rub that arm around. And then the bottom as well. All right, now, now how does this connect, yeah? To, to the shitkari. All right. So, shitkari pranayama is where you open yeah, the gaps of the lips, like you're forming a gentle smile, and allow yeah, the breath you have to pierce to the side between the spaces of the teeth, yeah, and the tongue. But not as pointed as the um, sitali. Yeah, sitali is where you pierce your lips which is quite distinct, and in the center, the shitkari is quite widespread. All right, so when you focus on one side only, allow the breath to pierce to the side, for example, you know, the left uh, cavity, and you allow the breath to specifically go through this point, and allow you know, this part of the mouth to lightly open to the side, and you allow the tongue to slightly go to that direction, the same time, lifting the same side up, you can gain access to really the deep hidden spots of 
the hips, specifically, yeah, the hip flexors inside, the front and the back. And you rub that similarly to the right. And then when you go up, yeah, upwards there, you can gain access here, yeah, and here, yeah. And in the center, since both sides, yeah, yeah, are open, you can direct the breath up here and in the middle. All right. And going back inside, yeah. Uh, the the flap or the fold behind the upper lip, you won't miss it, yeah. When you allow the tongue to reach that point, you're gonna feel a fold. And then when you inspire the breath in as the lift, yeah, the tongue and press up, up against that fold behind the lip. Yeah, you might want to try it, yeah, right now. Can you feel? Yeah, like from the pit of the hips, yeah, from our generative region. Travels here, right here, and it goes straight up to the frontal part of the brain, between the eyebrows. That's actually the Shishyam Nanadi. Yeah. So the Nadis, yeah, to gain access yeah, through them. Yeah, but this doesn't happen like overnight. <laughs> now, well, I built this awareness many years into the practice already. So, if you're just beginning to practice, you may or you may not feel yeah the manifestations, the experiences. Yeah, but as the body opens, as um, your inner system, as your lungs and the rest of your energetic anatomy become open, then you will be able to feel this already. So, how does this connect? And what's the significance of this lesson to the practice? Yeah, there's more yeah, uh, techniques, yeah, more than asana. Yeah. And then as your prog practice progresses, the asana actually become less involved in the practice. And then you become more aware of the internal structure. And this saves you time, this saves you energy, because you know, we can't be doing those complex and an intense asana all our lives. Yeah, we have the limitation, and this is not where you transition. Yeah, so from asana to pranayama, and then from pranayama to this, these are mudras already. Yeah, mudras and bandhas, they are like advanced practices of accomplishing, yeah, um, I say internal awareness, energy channeling, yeah, for us to be able to direct the flow of the energy to specific points of the dormant body which yeah, we cultivate it through the practice of the asana and pranayama. Because asana and pranayama, they open the physical. They open, yeah, I say the second layer of the, uh, the, the, the first few layers of the energetic anatomy. But mudras, yeah, kriyas, kumbhakas, and bandhas, they go deeper. And this is the stage of, ready, of the mudras. And then the tongue, the mouth, and the eyes, they become more involved in this stage already. Yeah. And then this what yeah. leads to the subtle awareness of those uh, internal pockets, yeah, and an openness of those internal pockets because from them, from those internal system, yeah, the energy flows out, and then we utilize that awareness when we practice yeah, meditation, yeah, sadhana, yeah, which may include what stillness, chanting, yeah. Yeah, and this will eventually yeah, lead us to the higher stages, the deeper stages of uh, dharana, yeah, focus concentration, dhyana, yeah, meditation, yeah, and yeah, absorption, yeah, samadhi. But thank you for listening, and I'll catch you in the next video. Thank you.